The youth started off slow in the first quarter as they were trying to adjust to the wet climates of Washington. The Huskies, however, took the ball 61 yards down the field and to jump out to a 3-0 lead in their first possession. Utah came back with their own 63-yard drive but failed to capitalize on a 45-yard field goal. On a fourth down and five at the Huskies' 44-yard line, a mishandled snap in the pump formation would take the Huskies back 27 yards and turn the ball over to the Utes with a short field at the Huskies' own 17-yard line. Six plays later, Travis Wilson was able to scramble in and give the Utes a lead of 7-3. Utah's defense was led by senior linebacker Gianni Paul, who managed to grab National Player of the Week honors for his performance. Gianni walked away from the game with one interception, leading to an easy Utah touchdown, and even scored a touchdown of his own with a fumble recovery scoop and score. Gianni's amazing play, however, was not enough to discourage the Huskies, as Washington managed to score 10 points in the half before Utah kicker Andy Phillips tacked on a field goal of his own right before the half to send the Utes into the locker room with a 24-13 lead. In the third quarter, the Huskies were able to cut down the Utes' lead to a one-point lead after they scored on an eight-play, 51-yard touchdown drive and a 12-play, 38-yard field goal drive. Unfortunately for the Huskies, the Utes were able to rely on Devontae Booker to help run down the Husky defense on his way to 150-yard performance with one touchdown. This led the Utes to come back and score the final 10 points of the football game.